Milwaukee Fuel, you stand accused. Accused of sucking. You stand accused of not being worth the price people paid for you. How do you plea? Okay, I'm just joking. Uh, while, while I put the battery in down here, and y'all stop judging me for being making an attempt at being funny, this drill sucks ass. This is not a children's channel. This is an honest tool reviews channel. And that is my honest review of my favorite company's shitty drill. You'll find that it looks like it's okay. You'll find that it's doing what it's supposed to do, supposedly. It's a combi drill. It does drilling. Then it does torque specific drilling then it does hammer drilling and it has two speeds uh... you'll notice that it looks like the grease has started to ooze out yes it has and you'll notice it does say it has the hammer milwaukee and it says fuel and brushless i don't understand the big hype about whether or not this tool is brushless. And let me explain why I say that. I don't mean to sound satirical. I don't mean to sound like an asshole to all these new people buying brushless tools. I don't mean to sound like a, a person that has no common sense and that he's not smart or anything like that. I don't mean to sound stupid. But I don't understand. I, I honestly don't. I get it, it's brushless, somehow that makes the battery not as bad, and somehow it's supposed to be, oh, better and more expensive, but this tool has been a nightmare. This tool, I think, it was used when I bought it, it was on Amazon, it was about a hundred dollars, I've had it for right at two to two and a half years, the entire time I have had it it's been a disappointment for about three days I used it and I used it on the very first setting I used it as regular drill and the chuck stopped working what do I mean stopped working I mean stopped fucking working this tool the the tip up here that tightens and ratchets to, to hold the bit in place started dropping bits out left and right at the price I paid it it ought to have been better than that and this was a gently used tool at the time um, the person that I bought it from from Amazon had five star reviews didn't have hardly any complaints about anything it had a little 90 day warranty if you're happy with it yay if you're not happy with it send it back for free we'll cover postage we'll cover all of this well I kept it I kept it because I kept telling myself well I'm not getting it tight I'm not getting it tight I was wrong I was wrong I did something wrong. I made a boo boo. I trusted myself and was wrong. So, as you can see, there's these flat spots. Well, there's a flat spot. I didn't put another one on here. No, I only put the one flat spot on there. Why did I put a flat spot on there? I took a grinder and freaking put a flat spot on this drill so that I could grab it with a pair of channel locks and tighten the piss out of it. And you know what? That did not work either. That didn't work. So I took the head off, took it apart, put, took the chuck apart, took took it down to the bare nitty gritties, put this piece in, hand tightened it with it in pieces, and ran super glue in, and then ran some JB Weld in behind it, and then ran some JB Weld in in front of it, and then tightened it as hard as I could tighten it real quick with a vise and then put the whole thing back together after it had dried and now it finally finally holds the chuck uh, you know of course I had to put one on that makes it more like an impact wrench but I mean it, it, I shouldn't have had to have done that and and Milwaukee 
acts like they're for big companies. They they want to be the brand that at the end of the day they sold this drill to somebody who's going to hand it to a bunch of guys in a in a company van somewhere, and they're going to throw this off the roof. They're going to throw this into the back of the van. They're going to throw it around. And they're going to abuse the ever loving shit out of it, and then it's supposed to work the next day. Why did the chuck wear out? I mean, it started rusting because I've used it and I've gotten it all scratched up from trying to hold it and trying to get a grip on it to tighten it and putting the, the vice grips on here. I mean, there's a whole bunch of no-nos. And one of them is you probably shouldn't have to use channel locks or vice grips on your drill. And, and I did it because I put so much money into this and I just, I hated to be wrong. I was wrong. I, 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 I didn't let myself be wrong. Sometimes you're going to be wrong, and this time I was wrong. Let me, let, me, let me get down to the features because at this point it matters less about what I think about the drill and more about what you think of the drill. This is the Milwaukee. This is the M18 Fuel Brushless Line Hammer Combi Drill. It does have two speeds. It does have 24 torque settings for the torque drill setting so it has 24 settings on the setting it does not torque on hammer drill it just hammers and drills you can't turn off the um, the spinning with the hammer drill this hammer drill is set to spin and hammer because it's more drill than hammer drill but it does do the combined feature and then it does just drill it, drill, it drills pretty quick I would say that's a pretty good speed. I have been very disheartened to find other drills that don't go near that fast. But I give this drill a one star review. It gets one star a little bit because it broke my heart. But mainly because the entire time I've used it I've had to be afraid that that glue, that weld will come loose and it'll be useless again. Um, so I've specifically tried not to use hammer drill both because of the glue in there and then because this is not hammer drill safety rated or or torque rated whatever you want to call it. This is literally just a truck for a drill not a hammer drill. And I don't want to break this off. I don't want to break the weld and I've not specifically had to have a hammer drill. So instead of just going all out at something with the hammer drill setting uh, I just used the drill setting and it works just fine. It has not let me down as a drill since I have repaired the head and I probably should have just went and bought a head but as is it has been a perfectly fine drill perfectly fine drill. I've, I've got no no issue with what it's supposed to be just an issue with how it came as you can see there's a serial number there's catalog numbers, all that mess. You know, I mean, it's just it's just a nice used drill. But at the price that I paid, it shouldn't have had any problems at all. Um, I'm honestly a bit disgusted with it. But it's not let me it's not let me down. It's got no problem taking the battery power and turning it into spinning momentum or force or. Eh. It's had no problem making the screws. You get a you yak, you know what I'm saying. Uh, it it has been a fine drill since I have fixed it. That being said, I have been unable to truly test the hammer drill function because of my fear, and I, I give it a one star review simply because that problem should not have happened from a gently used Milwaukee drill. Uh, I don't believe it was even six months old. When I had bought it, I don't believe it had ever been used on a job site. I do believe it had been used by a guy with plenty of money, went out and bought a whole set, and I think he passed away or some shit. And then his stuff ended up getting bundled up and sold to a company that just sells things. I don't can't imagine why it had the problem that it had. Glad that I fixed it. Uh, all in all, if you want to buy a brand new Milwaukee drill and you don't work for a construction company, don't do it. You don't you you don't need that. But don't fall for the DeWalt line either. DeWalt will sell to people like you and me. 
that no longer works in the construction field. Um, as a mechanic, I don't really need a drill for much either. But when I do need a drill, they have Milwaukee at work. But you, you wouldn't see me running out to buy one to take to work. And you wouldn't see me running out to buy a Dewalt to take to work. I would just buy something. Find one that, that you like. Find one with the battery platform that you're going to end up using. You don't want to be like me. I mean, I have three Milwaukee charger systems. I have a DeWalt. I have a Craftsman. And I have Hyper Tough. I even have little battery chargers for other things. So, I mean, I've kind of dabbled a bit. But you don't want to do that if you're going to spend all of your money to try to get started doing stuff you're going to want to buy you might want to invest in the new heart line that being said everything you buy will have similar batteries and you'll have plenty of batteries i, I do suggest milwaukee i love milwaukee but be careful probably don't buy something used on amazon especially because it's not going to be covered by any warranties but if you're if you're going to go all out with a Milwaukee, you know, go ahead and get the combo pack with at least three or four tools. It'll come with at least two batteries. It'll come with a charger. And if you ever sit down and go, well, gee, I need this tool, you've got it. And Milwaukee is a is a tough enough tool that you should be able to do it and not worry about it breaking. But buy it brand new with all the warranties, all the bells bells and whistles. Don't buy it from Amazon like I did. This this drill for me was a one star. It just I mean, now when I go to grab a drill, I have I have other options, and I'm just terrified to use it. I just I can use the M12 impact. I can use my Craftsman, my really old 19 volt ass Craftsman. I guess I could get an adapter for my impact Craftsman. I got a hyper tough drill that works just fine. I got this old, old metal drill. This big boy right here. It doesn't even know what it is. Got an old skill drill that, with the, the, the old fashioned tip. Nothing wrong with the tip. I've just put that on there to be quicker. Got a hyper tough corded drill. I've got plenty of other drills. That at this point in, in my life, if I'm working on something, I don't want to be scared I'm going to break it. I don't want to be scared I'm going to break it, and I just would prefer not to use it. So, the end of the day, it, it, it's one star. You shouldn't have to be afraid of what you bought. Uh, again, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, it might be closer to a three star review. If they hadn't hurt me so bad there, out of pocket, you know, and all that mess. Um, as just a drill, if I didn't have to be scared of it, it would it would be a three star review, uh, and, it, and it probably should be. Uh, I just I can't give this drill a three star review. I, I can't be tough enough on it to say yes, this is a three star drill. Probably should be. I can't do it. I can't allow myself to tell you it's a three-star drill. Then if you use it and it falls apart, it's not. It's not a three-star drill. That's not how it goes. I can't be lying to people. Again, this has been an episode of Honest Tool Reviews. Uh, have a great day out there in YouTube land and work safe.